Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Rockwood number 556WS-626. This is certainly by this perspective a fairly pedestrian flush bolt, but it is not at all. This end might look very familiar to the Rockwood 555, but it is not exactly the 555 at all. This is their 556 WS model and that means that you get this serious piece of equipment with it. That is a piece of solid stainless steel, half inch diameter, approximately 12 inch length rod. And this is their WS, their windstorm version of the flush bolt. I had, I have moved to using the WS variant of the flush bolt for clients when it's not required because it is such a more substantial piece of equipment. You will often see uh, a flush bolt destroyed, just vandalized and destroyed uh, front doors to um, a health club, okay, where we have lots of activity going in and out and they get possibly well, certainly unintentionally damaged, but they also get vandal vandalized as, as well. Uh, so I have moved to this WS version uh, because I allow um, the client to experience just less, you know, sort of shortcoming of impression from their client, their end user. A piece of hardware like this, and it's really not that much more money than the standard is so much heavier. So what happens when you get the 556W, 556WS, forgive me, you're going to get the body, and that's going to be dimensionally identical to the 555. You're going to even get the standard rod with it, which you won't use. You're going to get the standard package with it as well, meaning the bolt head, and then your strike and your guide and all your screws. You're not going to use this material provided you're using this as a WS or a windstorm uh, version, you're going to of course use the half inch piece of stainless steel material thread it down in here like this. And I'll tell you this is a heavy flush bolt. This item weighs 1.4 pound. It's a lot of weight for a flush bolt. Okay. Three quarter inch sort of projection on this. Stainless steel, that's all satin stainless steel. You're also going to get the rod guide and the strike. These are also in stainless steel. They're not really a brushed finish, they're just mill stainless. So your guide, and that will go to the top of the door. That D sort of profile allows, uh, prevents the unintentional turning of this so that it will unthread itself. And of course the strike. And then, of course, all machine screws, and to be WS compliant, windstorm compliant, you'd be drilling and tapping everything everywhere into properly reinforced material is how that's going to work. This is available in several different finishes, and let's go over the technical details of it now. Lever extension, windstorm flush bolt, that's what this is. Faceplate is six and three quarter tall by uh, three, uh, one inch wide. So six and three quarter by one standard uh, body uh, face plate uh, size. Okay, material thickness is an eighth of an inch. You're going to get this massive stainless steel rod. Okay, so the overall length of it to the end of the threaded portion, just over you know eleven and a quarter. This is considered a twelve inch bolt because they're measuring from the top of the door. To the center of the faceplate. So when this is installed, top of the door to the center of the faceplate is 12 inch. Now, before we get to the balance of the extended description, these WS windstorm models are available only in 12 inch. Okay. There is not one that is a longer, like an 18 inch or a 24 inch. Um, I've never been asked for one that's longer. If you had an eight foot door, you might want to consider a longer flush bolt. Actually, you would. The fact that it's not listed means it's not tested, means that there may not be a call for it. 
if you have need for a longer bolt, re feel free to reach out to me. I'd, I would happily uh, investigate its availability. Now back to the extended description. Uh, again, half inch diameter, available in several different finishes, your brasses, your bronze, your chromes, that's all no problem. It's going to fit in the same uh, ANSI sort of door prep that you'll have, uh, certainly for a metal door because this uh, does not require any special preparation. If you happen to be installing this in a wood door, uh, which I cannot imagine that you would be because I don't believe that there's any variant um, of this that is prepped for or approved for anything else. Seco Trio, Curry's 777, Fleming Baron Trio series doors are what must be used to make this windstorm compliant, meaning to you know meet the code required. State of Florida, high velocity hurricane zone, uh, etc. Certainly, uh, if you're not compliant with that and want a heavy duty flush bolt, this is a great option. And again, specifically for windstorm applications. So there are links below this video. The product brochure, let's look at that first. Uh, that gives all of the details of what this material is uh, that we've already pretty much already discussed, what doors it's to be used with, the recommended latching hardware it's to be used with, um, available, uh, forgive me, I actually misspoke earlier, it's not available in anything other than satin chrome or stainless steel, I apologize. Um, certainly nothing would prevent you from using a standard Rockwood 555 in a different finish if all you were doing like I do, I only use 26D, uh, in the past, um, if you wanted a heavy heavy duty flush bolt, you could hybrid the two. It's UL certified. Stainless steel rod length. Stainless steel rod, I should say. Three quarter inch projection. When you throw this, you're getting a three quarter inch amount of projection involved. Lots of the bolt head up into the frame is the translation of that. Uh, on that product uh, catalog, there's also the 557, which is a sister product, obviously, to this uh, flush bolt. And then a, a dustproof strike, which is a common item as well, along with a gravity coordinator. There's a link below this video to a document called Product Bulletin, and that's just a tier sheet, a cut sheet, summarizing the initial sort of you know, what it's used for, when you're using it, and with what you're using it in conjunction with. There's finally a link to Tech Sheet, and that is included with your paperwork. It's going to give you all the physical dimensions of the item that uh, I've not really covered, but it's all there. Prepping for this, obviously, it's going to be manufactured at the factory for this uh, to be Windstorm certified. You'd be using it with those doors specifically. Uh, if you are installing this onto an existing metal door. I don't see any problem at all. Six and three quarter by one. You uh, will probably not even have to change your rod guide. Um, if you're doing a new installation in a metal door and, you're, and the door is not prepped, you might want to back away from that immediately unless you can weld, can cut. If you can't, find a door shop that can um, or just order your doors from the factory that way. If you happen to be installing these on wood doors, which you certainly can, but that door is going <laughs> to that door will let go before this bolt will, but no problem. There's certainly no hesitation about using a heavy duty uh, flush bolt in a wood door. You're gonna need to be able to prep not only that face plate with a plunge router uh, as required, but you're gonna need to drill that long hole from the top and bottom of the door down to the cavity of the body of the preparation. And that's not impossible to do, and I've personally done it several hundred times, uh, so it's not and that's something that cannot be done. You just need the proper tools for doing it. Any assistance that I can uh, uh, give in that regard, feel free to reach out to us. Finally, there's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page uh, where you can pull up the full line Rockwood catalog and review all things trim and auxiliary hardware from them. Not only specialty flush bolts, but door stops, kick plates, push and pull hardware, uh, pivots, overhead stops they have as well. There's also a link to their Rockwood Architectural Door Pull Catalog, as known as their RM series. Exquisite furniture quality sort of uh, architectural hardware for door pulls. You'll see them all the time. If 
you walk into a bank and they've got seven foot tall poles on those doors, very likely is rockwood. I'm partial to rockwood, you might be able to tw tell. It's because of very good quality fit and finish uh, is, is, is what I always experience when I am reviewing uh, rockwood material. I just like how the material looks. Their manufacturing process, their people process, uh, tells me that the material is uh, well thought after during the manufacturing and packaging process. Any questions on the Rockwood 556WS-626 windstorm lever extension flush bolt or any other Rockwood product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.